In this video, we can discuss about the sterilization process. It's an important topic of pharmaceutical microbiology of third semester B farm. We have already discussed about the different procedure for culturing of microorganisms. Sometimes this microorganism may be harmful or we have to remove the microorganism from our pharmaceutical products. That time we will use the sterilization process. Now before jumping to the topic, we can discuss some definition. First one is what is the definition of sterilization? So sterilization is defined as a process by which an article, surface or medium is made free from all the microorganisms including vegetative and or spore forming. What is the difference between sterilization and disinfection? In disinfection, the spore form may not be killed. So coming to the definition. It is defined as a process in which destruction of all the pathogens or organisms which are capable of producing infections but not necessarily the spores. So in disinfection all the organisms may not be killed but there will be a reduction in the number of microorganisms to a level that is no longer harm to health of an human being. Now coming to next one, antisepsis or antiseptic. So if we are doing the disinfection process in an live tissue, it is known as antisepsis and the agent which are used for uh, applying safely to living tissue are known as antiseptic which are used to prevent the infection by inhibiting the growth of microorganisms. A suffix indicate that antimicrobial agent will kill or destroy a certain group of microorganism is side which means kill or to kill. So viricide means it will destroy the virus or it will kill the virus. Fungicide it will destroy the fungi and bactericide which will destroy the bacteria. And suffix statics or stasis means to, st to stand still a suffix indicate that agent will prevent the growth or multiplication of the type of microorganism but are not killed outright so bacteriostatic means that will prevent the growth of microorganism and fungiostatics means that will uh, prevent the growth of fungi now Coming to the uses of sterilization in general, even though uh, the uses will be different for different sterilization process, in general sterilization process can be used to sterilize the material instrument used in the surgical and diagnostic procedure, sterilization of culture media and reagent used in the microbiologic laboratory in order to assure that there is no contamination with other microorganisms. Now sterilization of food and drug manufacturing to ensure the safety from the contaminating organism. Now coming to the method of sterilization, it is mainly divided into physical methods and chemical methods. So in physical method it is again divided to sunlight, heat, filtration, radiation and in chemical method by using different chemicals that we will uh, discuss in disinfection. The method of sterilization is divided into physical, chemical and physiochemical in which combination of physical and chemical process will be used. So in physical method of sterilization it is again divided into sunlight, heat, vibration, radiation and filtration. This heat is again divided into dry heat and moist heat. In dry heat there are different methods like red heat, flaming, incineration hot air oven and infrared this will come in also in ionizing radiation now moisture heat sterilization is again divided into sterilization below 100 degrees celsius sterilization at 100 degrees celsius and above 100 degrees celsius radiation is again divided into non ionizing and ionizing radiation 
now filtration is again divided into by uh, on the basis of different filters earthware aspect of cinder glass and membrane filtration now chemical this will uh, we will discuss in disinfection now coming to the first method that is sunlight so the mechanism of action of killing of microorganism in sunlight is due to the active germicidal effect due to its content of ultraviolet this is the natural method of sterilization of water in tank rivers and lake now coming to heat this is the most reliable and most commonly employed method in so there are two type of heat we can use for sterilization process either dry heat or moist heat we have already discussed there are different method in dry heat and moist heat sterilization and we will discuss one by one in detail now coming to the mechanism of action of heat sterilization so in every sterilization there will be a mechanism of action of killing here in dry heat sterilization pro process microorganism are killed by either oxidative damage of the different metabolic products of microorganism or by denaturation of bacterial protein or by toxic effect of elevated uh, level of electrolyte now mechanism of action of moist heat sterilization is by coagulation and routine denaturation so that is the mechanism of action of heat sterilization now coming to the different factors affecting heat sterilization first one is nature of heat so uh, according to whether it is moist heat or dry heat the moist heat will be more efficient when compared with the dry heat then temperature and duration as the temperature increases we can decrease the duration of sterilization process and characteristics of organism and spore so some uh, spore forming microorganism required higher temperature for the destruction of microorganism now type of material whether it is heat liable or heat stable material there only uh, we can select the heat sterilization now coming to the dry heat sterilization process there are four different method in dry heat sterilization first one is red heat in which material is held in the flame of bunsen burner till they become red hot these are mainly used to sterilize uh, microbiological laboratory instruments like inoculating wire or inoculating loop tip of forceps and needles so uh, the material should be heat stable and they should uh, recover back to the normal state after the uh, red heat process now second method is flaming in this uh, material are passed through the flame of bunsen burner without allowing them to become red hot these are mainly used to sterilize the glass like uh, scabs and mouth of uh, culture tubes these are the main method which is used during aseptic transfer as well as for before preparing the slides for staining process now third method is incineration so in this the material are reduced to ashes by burning uh, the instrument used is known as incinerator and these are mainly used for the materials such as soiled dressing then contaminated clothing animal carcasses bedding pathological materials etc most important dry heat method and most commonly used dry heat method is hot air oven so in this uh, we have to study the construction mechanism of action working and working temperature of hot air oven now coming to the construction of hot air oven it consists of an heating element inside the side wall to get heated and there is a thermometer in uh, in order to measure the temperature inside the hot air oven and there is a thermostat in order to adjust the different temperature condition and there is a circulating fan inside it, it in order to make sure that the temperature has to be distributed equally in the different parts of hot air oven and all this is enclosed in a insulated cabin with heavy insulated door uh, which are made up of stainless steel or different metals 
these are the different temperature and time condition for hot air oven if we are heating at 140 degrees celsius it will require 3 hours for a sterilization and 150 2.5 hours 160 2 hour 170 1 hour and 180 30 minutes so as the temperature increases we can reduce the time of sterilization process this is a pictorial representation of hot air oven so these are mainly used to uh, sterilize glassware like glass syringes petri dish pipettes uh, test tubes and surgical instruments like scabs then scissors forceps ointment tube etc then chemicals like liquid and soft hard paraffins glycerin fat wool fat and wool alcohol and uh, also to sterilize vehicle for oily injections and also for sterilization of some chemicals like tall kaiolin and trick sulfonamide also for oil and uh, powdered which are packed in small containers so these are the application of sterilization hot air oven so these are the some precautions which we have to be noted so first thing is the hot air oven should not be overloaded so sufficient uh, space there should be there in order to uh, circulate the heated air uniformly and second one is arrangement should be in a manner that it would, should allow free circulation of heated air in a hot air oven and the material uh, to be sterilized should be perfectly air dry before going to uh, the sterilization process so any uh, vessels or glass material which is in uh, wet should not be uh, inserted inside hot air oven and the tubes flask uh, that should be fitted with the cotton plug before uh, the sterilization process petri dish and pipette should be wrapped in an aluminum foil and rubber materials and inflammable material should not be kept inside because it will melt inside the hot air oven the oven should be allowed to cool for two hours before opening since the glassware may crack by sudden cool coming to the sterilization control of hot air oven these are used to ensure that the sterilization process is successful we don't know the sterilization is happened according to the specification or not so in order to assure that we will use some other controls in order to make sure that the sterilization process was a successful one so we can use either spores of bacillus subtilis or uh, spores of clostridium tetani a paper strip impregnated with the spores of clostridium tetani or the ready-made biological indicators which are available in our market can be also used uh, which are placed in an envelope and inserted in suitable pack after the sterilization process the strip as inoculated into thioglycolate or cooked meat media and, and incubated in strict anaerobic condition for five days at 37 degrees Celsius so if there is any growth in the culture media that indicate the spores of clostridium tetanae is not destroyed by the sterilization process that indicate the failure of sterilization process so uh, after the sterilization process while culturing the microorganism it should not give any growth of microorganism in the form of turbidity or in the form of colony formation now third method of sterilization control is brown's tube which is a ready-made uh, chemical indicator available in the market so it will give a green color uh, after the proper sterilization process if there is no green color it indicate the failure of sterilization process and also we can use the thermocouples for physical measurement of temperature change inside the oven so these are the different sterilization controls of hot air oven